Good morning. Today we're heading to Boracay for Christmas. It's safe to say that we splashed out on a gorgeous hotel and a jam-packed itinerary. So sit back and see how we spent one week in Boracay over the Christmas period. As we made our way to Boracay, we wondered whether the whole island was going to be a tourist trap or pure paradise. We will let you make your own decision and we will share our opinion at the end of the video. So we have just arrived in Boracay. Yes, we have. We've got a big bag of washing. That's the first thing that we need to do. Big bag of washing. So we're going to do this and then we're going to show you our first impressions of the local area. So we are based just over there and this way we have the D-Mall is what it's called. I've done a bit of research on okay. Yeah, and basically it's lovely. It intertwines, it's like a maze of restaurants. To be honest, it's how I actually imagine Disneyland Paris to be. Ah. Yeah, it is Tom. Right. It is like no joke. Like walking around, there's little restaurants everywhere, there's a crepe if you want them. Um, yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. We're just wandering past a Mexican, which is well tempting me for tea tonight. And there's a happy hour, it's buy one, get one. Oh, God. Too right it is, but we're now almost heading out. Oh, we're almost now heading out to the beach. So hopefully it's as beautiful as it looks on the pictures. Lauren's found a little market area that she wants to go to. Really cool catch. So as Lauren has a wander around these shops, we have just been booking all the activities for the week. So we've got helmet diving, we've got parasailing, we've got island hopping, beach tour, snorkeling, sunset cruise. We're gonna do something on Christmas day, crystal kayaks. So yeah, plenty to look forward to and we'll let you know how much it all costs and if it's any good or not. Good morning. We've had a broken sleep due to the uh, cockerels waking us up at 5.30, but we're still here to tell the tale. Yeah. And we're heading for breakfast. We're going to Lemonies. This is the Lemon Cafe, one of our favourite places to have a coffee and something to eat. But the best part was their manager, Lemoning. A cute but slightly grumpy cat. So today we're starting our day with Eggs Benedict. Tom, do you want to see this? Oh, hang on. Oh. I missed it. Did you really? Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure anyway, it looks good. So we're starting our day with Eggs Benedict and then we're going parasailing. Now we've never done that before and we've got the Instagram 360 version as well. So this cost about 75 quid for both of us on Get Your Guide. So we'll link that down below. Looks a good setup so far. Mm. Let's hope it all goes well. <laughs> yeah. How beautiful is this beach by the way? The water is well clean. So we've just got on one speedboat, which I think is going to put us on another one for the actual parasailing. Because in fact, I can see the parasailing going on in the distance. Oh gosh, yeah. The nerves are kicking in. We should be fine now. Wow, look at that. So we've made it to this like man-made raft in the middle of the sea, and we're just waiting to be picked up by another boat now. Hopefully, the boat that's going to fling us up in air for a bit. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's going to be well good. It's going to be an amazing experience. We're now on the parasailing boat, so the next time you see us, we're going to be up there. parasail so if it's a bit skew with because of the waves your parasail is going to be like going up and down so at the start it's a bit weird because you're like not expecting it at all but that's, actually that's just cross. i really enjoyed it what did you think Tom? i enjoyed it but i got like travel sick or something i was feeling well grim up there and then 
same on the boat back and then when we were trying to download the footage you've just seen I have no storage left on my phone so I had to run back for Lauren so I'm I'm wiped out I can't wait to have a shower you didn't have to run back I did Lauren said if you don't run back no, now didn't. I'm joking the rest of the day was spent eating drinking and listening to live music it was great Good morning, welcome to day two of Boracay where we're going on an island topping up <laughs> tour. <laughs> Cannot wait it. Shooking it down. There's no way they're going to let us go on this tour. Good morning, today is day three. Yesterday was a washout. Yeah, it was. But today... Just like chucked it down on it. But yes, we're heading to the beach now because it is time to go helmet diving. Lauren cannot wait. And I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Despite being a bit scared, we boarded the speedboat to take us to the floating platform in the middle of the sea. So we've just had our instructions. Lauren's getting a bit I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. But yeah, I think we'll probably... Oh, it's too windy. I think we'll probably go in the next few minutes. I'm so nervous. <laughs> On our way back, we realised that it was actually amazing, just very scary for your first time. So that was an amazing start to the day. Yep. Never done anything like that before. No. But we are so hungry now, so we're going to grab some lunch, and then we've got an exciting day, haven't we? Because... We have. Well, we've, we've booked in somewhere really nice for Christmas, so for these next four nights, so we are excited for that. So we packed up and left our hostel and arrived at Fairways and Blue Water, a hotel complex on a golf course with a private beach and so many beautiful pools. We could not wait to spend Christmas here. So after a very exciting morning this morning, we finally made it to our Christmas hotel. And it's safe to say I wasn't expecting it to be this fancy at all and neither was Tom. But we'll give you a quick room tour. So the room is lovely. We've got a lovely view of the pool. There's two big beds. There's a nice TV with Netflix and YouTube on. There's a desk, a shower, obviously. But it's just, it's nice. It's much better than the hostel we were just at. But we will be giving you a tour of the full complex as well. Starting with the beach. So at this place, it's that big. It's actually on a golf complex and you get a free shuttle to everywhere on in the complex. So we're starting with the private beach and we just tell them, and hopefully, they'll take us. So we've just got off the shuttle to come to the private beach and then there's this infinity pool that overlooks the sea. It's so beautiful. So we headed down to the beach and filmed a bit of content for Instagram. So we've had 
some fun in the end. It, no, started, yeah, off, <laughs> it started off a bit hostile. It was really hostile. It was tense in the car. Every every literal time I took a picture, it was, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, please. Tom was giving it flash, flash, flash. I was like, you paparazzi, <laughs> calm down. But it's all working out beautiful because you can't stay mad in a place like this. No, <laughs> you can't. But I'm going to go for a dip, so I'll see you in there. From the beach, we're heading to a restaurant. This is just one of many. So many, 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 actually. So this is restaurant number one that we've been to. Actually, that's a lie. We did go to another one, but we're gonna go and save that one for Christmas Day tomorrow because it looked fancy. But this one looks pretty good. Lauren's got a two for one sangria. Is it sangria? Yeah. And I've gone for fajitas and Lauren has gone for carbonara. But yeah, this is well nice. And then through in the back, there's like a big pool with like bars and all that. Mm. It's like the place to come for the night. Yeah. So we'll probably have a look at that tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Good morning and Merry Christmas. We are heading down for a Christmas yeah. breakfast. Christmas breakfast. Well, it might not even be any Christmasly related things, but I know. it's Christmas and it's breakfast. Yeah. Now, we didn't have a traditional Christmas dinner, and yes, we missed our families absolutely lots. But what a place to spend Christmas Day, sipping cocktails, good food, and pool hopping around the resort. We loved it. We then headed out into D Mall for a nice dinner before calling it a night as we had our boat tour booked for the next day. Good morning. Good Today morning. we are heading on an island hopping day of Boracay. So we've had a couple of chilled days for Christmas, haven't yeah. we? Just hanging around pools and eating Not some really good food. Much. But yeah, today a bit more adventure, a bit of snorkeling. So we're on the boat now, heading to the first island pretty soon. To be honest, we don't even know the itinerary of this, but... I thought it finished at 12 and it finishes at 3. So... Long day ahead. So this is the first stop, Boracay Beach. You can go crystal kayaking if you like, or you can just go for a swim or a picture with a sandcastle. So I've opted to sit on this netting for a little bit. I tried to swim, but I felt a bit awkward, didn't I? Tom just got in and kind of dashed about for a bit, and I, you didn't realise I was seeing him, but he just looked so awkward. And I thought, oh, for goodness sake, come back up. <laughs> okay. So we're at the snorkeling spot now, so let's see what fishies we can see. Unfortunately, I'm going solo. Unfortunately, we couldn't snorkel in the normal area and it was really, really choppy where we snorkeled, but we did see a few fish. <laughs> Look at him, he looks absolutely. I did dive in for one last snorkel, but I didn't have much luck and I struggled to get back out, to be honest. But and then we headed for lunch. So we've now stopped off at the far end of the island, a little bit of the island for some lunch. It's a local lunch. After lunch, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our hotel as we really wanted to make the most of our last day here. And then we're headed out for a nice meal on so the night. Come out for tea and it's a bit busy at restaurants, so... But how's here? And then... It's just, uh, come on spitting. Or washing it down, one or two. So, he started chucking it down, so we moved inside. There wasn't a table free, so this guy's bought the outside table inside next to the pool table. Mm -hmm. And then let us have the original seats. But well, we're a bit, <laughs> we're a bit low down. Food has arrived. Just gotta bob down a little bit to eat it. So we finished our meal whilst watching a game of pool, and this ended what was the most amazing week in Boracay. So is Boracay a tourist trap or pure paradise? In our opinion, it's paradise. 
Are there a lot of tourists? Yes, but usually that means it's something worth seeing and Boracay is certainly a place to visit. Okay, it is more expensive than other places in the Philippines and is probably more accommodating to people on vacation rather than backpackers. That's why we came here for Christmas and allowed ourselves to spend more money here compared to our usual backpacking budget. So, for a special occasion, it's perfect. There are nice hotels, loads of restaurants and plenty of fun activities to do. Let us know what you think of Boracay in the comments. We would love to hear your opinion of this island. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.